In this episode of our expose on Representative Jennifer Williamson, she expands on her pro-rape stance and talks more about wanting to do away with Measure 11 and letting criminals out of jail early, despite the voters of Oregon overwhelmingly passing Measure 11 into law. You know, the idea of pardoning or, or releasing large segments of offenders regardless of what they've done is a politically um, difficult thing to do, um, as you might imagine, especially if somebody in that population then goes and reoffends. Um, it, it, you know, it's, it's a big issue, but we don't actually have the savings in those populations yet. I mean, we know that they're going to grow, and eventually we may have the savings, but we really have to take a hard look at what we do with people who have committed crimes against other people the Measure 11 population, and that's a hard I mean, that's a hard group of people to talk about. A big portion of those folks are sex offenders. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, how do you have a conversation in your community about, you know, should sex offenders have shorter sentences? <laughs> that's not, a, you know, that's not a fun conversation to have, but the, but the science shows and, um, and, the, and the best practices show that long sentences don't do any good for that population. But, you know, tell, tell the PTA that, you know, it's, it's, it's emotionally a really hard conversation to have. Yes, um, I think too, um, if they reclassify some of the sex offenses, um, oh, there's, de there's definitely bills to do that, yeah. to look at what, you know, you've got a second degree assault or whatever, right. but again, it's, um, you know, that the Willie Horton ads were the beginning of the political, um, the political soft on crime sort of blowback for, for people during um, elections. And it is, it is, you can very much underestimate how, um, how effective those kinds of ads are. And all you need is one person to reoffend. Um, when, and, and statistically, one person will reoffend, yeah. you know? Um, but is that the way that we make policy? For more on this story and others, visit youtube.com slash laughing at liberals.